Hello folks, I'm on the What Car website. I'll put a link in the video description to this article, but we're looking at the most reliable electric cars. That's according to the Motor Easy survey, which had about 25,000 respondents. Obviously not all of those with EVs, but it's an interesting thing. People don't often consider reliability when they come to EVs because they think, well, there aren't so many moving parts, therefore it's always going to be reliable. Of course, they're still quite complex beasts. So let's have a look. Number 11, the 11th most reliable car is the Hyundai Kona. 89% reliability on that, although 26% of Kona Electric owners told us their car had suffered an issue, four out of five cars could still be driven, and more than two thirds of faults rectified in a day or less. More than 80% of repairs were carried out under warranty and no bills topped 750 quid. Number 10 is the Renault Zoe, which has been around since 2013, so you have to think there are probably more of them on the road. 89.4% reliability, bodywork and non-motor electrical glitches were the most frequently cited issues with the Zoe, even though some of the cars were not covered by the manufacturer's warranty. 82% of the issues were fixed for free, however 9% of owners had to pay out more than 1500 quid. More than 90% of cars could still be driven and half the faults were rectified in less than a week. Audi e-tron 2019 to present, this is quite a new kid on the block. 92% reliability on that. Obviously, it's a new car, so all the work was done under warranty. No owners were left out of pocket, and 70% of issues were dealt with within a week. Um, it says non-motor electrical issues accounted for 24% of all issues. Uh, Volkswagen ID3, again, a very new car, so you'd think that would all be done under warranty. Electrical issues with the motor and other components were the biggest concern. The BMW i3, which has been around for a long time now, 92.8% uh, reliability reliability, bodywork, non-motor electrics and suspension the most common areas of complaint. 91% of the cars were put right for free and no one who had to pay out shelled out more than 300 quid. That's good. Number six, the Nissan Leaf. Now this is the Leaf from 2019 to now. Obviously you can get a much older Leaf than that. 93.9%. One thing I have to say I don't understand in the results here is it says reliability rating 93.9% but then 27% of the cars we were told about went wrong. So is it 93.9% or is it 73 percent who knows anyway the most common issues were with the motor non-motor electrics and gearbox however all cars were fixed for free and nearly three quarters of them were back on the road in a day or less tesla model 3 at number 5 94.4 percent reliability most common issues were bodywork issues no surprise there they're sort of well known for that followed by electrical gremlins with the motor and other electrical systems Remedial work was swift and efficient. 60% of cars were repaired in a day or less and all work was carried out under warranty. That's something I hear about Tesla a lot is when you do have a problem, it gets dealt with very quickly. Kia e-Nero, this is the 2019 to 22 model. Obviously there's a new one out now, 94.6%. Um, most of the issues were with electrical systems, including the motor. Repairs were slow with more than two thirds of cars stuck in a garage for more than a week. Good news is that 94% of work was done for free and no bills exceeded 200 quid. Volkswagen e-Golf 2013 to 20, 94.7%. Biggest issues were infotainment system, non-motor electrics and just, just sort of minor issues really. All remedial work was done for free so no owners left out of pocket but a third of problems took more than a week to remedy. Number two, the MG ZS EVs. That's one of the best value EVs on the market and according to this, the second most reliable. So faults include the 12 volt battery, steering wheel, bodywork and non-motor electrics. Four out of five cars could still be driven. MG covered the cost of all remedial work too, but 60% of stricken cars were in the garage for more than a week. And number one is the old Nissan Leaf, 2011 to 18. The original Leaf is proving more dependable than the latest. Only 9% of owners of the previous generation models reported fault. All of these were rectified free by Nissan dealers. What's more, all work took less than a day to complete. Folks, give this one a thumbs up and click over here because I'm going to show you the least reliable EVs in this Watt Car survey.